So um, six and a half weeks out now. Getting my uh, pre-workout ritual in. Eat my um, nitrox before training. Today's uh, it's leg day today, and at the moment I've got a bit of a bad quad, so it's going to be an interesting workout because you know I've only got five, six more leg workouts to go, and realistically I need to hit quads damn hard. So I'm going to attempt to do some quad work. Hopefully all goes well, and then I'm going to finish off by focusing on some hamstrings. So we'll see how my quad plays up. But that's the bad news. The good news is eight days of low food and uh, I get a refeed tomorrow. So after sending uh, Chris some photos this morning, I'm going to um, refeed tomorrow, just over one day today. Usually I tend to do it over two days. Um, I remember it's all controlled food, so it's not like I go get a cheat meal. I'm told exactly what to eat. So for example, I'll have, um, tomorrow I've got 100 grams of carbs from uh, like muffins or cake pre-workout. I've got some um, bread and jam uh, in the morning. I double up on my carb meals, so I'll double up on my rice. And then I've got um, pasta and steak post-workout. So it's not a crazy cheat meal like last one. Obviously last time I had, I had the old burger and chips. So I'm not getting that this week, but hopefully it'll be enough just to fill me out and just keep me um, progressing my lifts for the next few weeks. Let's get this night box in. Actually, like a little treat. No drive, I look forward to this every, every, every time. It's like a little bit of sherbet pre workout. <laughs> Nice and warm throughout the movements. People think like I love to train legs, and no joke, I hate training legs. Yeah. But it's the reason I train them so hard. I think because I use that hatred to sort of fuel my workout. So it's like if I like say like for example chest, I love training chest, so I train it hard because I love it. Just like if I hate a muscle group, I train it hard because I hate it. <laughs> so. Love, legs is one of the love and hate relationship man so legs is one of those where i'm like this shit's gonna be fucking hard and i know it <laughs> but as soon as i get under that bar you know shit's going down so anyone that doesn't go for a little nervous week before leg day you know, i'm training them hard enough that's what i say every single fucking time man You know I have to go heavy metal when I uh, train legs. It's like the only thing I listen to heavy metal for is leg session. Getting my uh, knees nice and warm before I start to load the weight. So generally, I build up to a, a heavy 10 sort of rep max, and then um, maybe deload set and go from there. Doesn't feel too bad. It's not gonna feel too bad till the weight gets heavy though. <laughs> feels all right when it's light as fuck, but. I'm going to start putting fucking five, six plates on. First working set. So I'm gonna hit about 10 reps. And uh, this would be my gauge to whether I can increase the weight or stay at it. Because um, because I'm getting closer, I feel like you know I'm trying to keep my lifts as heavy as possible. But I am noticing that like now it's eight days low, so I'm like kind of pleased at the same time. So it's almost like you know my aim is to get six, but I've also got a Sort of gauge it if I can get six. 
So we'll find out. Probably do this is a max set. If you get eight to ten, I'll be happy. And then um, deload the weight down a little bit. Because like when you've uh, when you're maxed out on like a squatting movement, you know, all out for ten reps or eight reps or whatever it is, there's no way you're gonna do, you know, three, four sets of that weight. So last set was a working set. It was tough. This set's gonna be fucking all out. And then we we'll deload and slightly back off. And maybe increase the rep range again all out. And then probably move on. Just see how many see how my legs feel. Uh, uh. Of the quad. Fucked. <laughs> I'm a duo on five, ten, twelve reps. Then I'm gonna go four, twelve, fifteen reps. Well, that's what I plan. <laughs> Soon find out. <laughs> Give it 10 seconds, I'll go in. Just to uh, break the plow. Like a squat leg press now. Got my feet position kind of wide and angled out. Just target a little bit of different areas of the quads. But I like this one because um, like replicates the squatting movement nicely. And uh, this week I'm off barbell squats because. I squatted last week, so I tend to do two to three weeks squatting, and then one leg session, I'll uh, hack squat, squat press instead. 
How many sets of this, Jay? Three, four, maybe. This is third set, so they've all been pretty hard working sets. So we'll gauge it from this one and go from there. Take them all fucking off. <laughs> Exercise three. Do superset. So we'll post foot leg press, feet together, and then superset with a sissy squat over there. Um, again, just pump out the quads. So to go have a little niggle, I don't want to do too much crazy heavy work. So I'm gonna go a bit more high volume. I'm trying to keep constant tension on both of them as well. If you notice, I'm trying not to lock out. Every time I lock out, I need that couple second pause just to pump out again. It's like a piston. Rip out, rip out. as intense as possible as well like obviously probably doesn't come across on the video but the rest periods are pretty damn short looking at like a minute 90 seconds yeah. between sets so it's minimal rest man it's not like I'm having four or five minutes in between sets and then and then going again all out it's a uh, short and intense that's how it is with all my workouts all or nothing.
Fuck. Nice extension now. Some pump out, some reps. So, four sets, 15, 20 reps, and then the blast some hamstrings. Fuck. Last set, triple drop set, finish off quads, and move on to some hamstrings. So, hamstrings, fast switch muscle fibre, so I'll do three exercises for them and blast them pretty quick. Um, a lot of like curling motions more than anything. Um, especially got deadlifted this week, so get me that deadlift one week, straight to deadlift the other week. So um, the deadlift this week we're gonna do more more curling motions. Start off here, warm up set, three to four working sets and then move on. Start with the heavy work now. This is where it fucking counts. Don't matter how tired you feel. Don't mean shit on stage. Just remember. See people coming here on fucking all the time, feeling sorry for themselves. Oh, I'm tired. I don't fucking mind. What? So every day, no one gives a fuck how you feel. And your competitors sure don't give a fuck how you feel. So if you're coming here feeling sorry for yourself, you ain't gonna do you no favours. Just get in, no matter how fuck you feel, just put in the work. Don't be a fucking pussy. <laughs> Too many people fucking mope around with a fucking pussy. I feel fucked right now, but it ain't stopping me trying to beat every fucking PV. Some light hamstring curls now. Stretch the hamstrings a bit more on the way down. Again, sort of um, 12 to 15 rep range. I'll probably stick in. Made it a set on like 10. I'm gonna keep it fairly heavy on these. Wow.
Vamos mostrar, né? Fast switch muscle fiber the hamstring, so if you blast them quick, short rest periods, won't be long until you can't um, contract them properly. That's when you know your hamstrings are done when you can't even fucking squeeze them, man. I've had it to the point where, like, by end of my hamstring session, just trying to do a curl with my body weight, like just my leg, to hardly fucking curl my leg up. That's when you know your hamstrings are fucked. So, some single leg um, hamstring curls now, really isolating and squeezing. And then uh, hamstrings are pretty much fucking done. Now you got 45 minute cardio to do. Uh. I don't know why they put leg equipment upstairs. I feel like I might be fucking joking, but I can't bang my fucking leg. <laughs> it's like one step at a time. Four sets on here. Just concentrating on really like flexing my hamstring at the top. So um, I like this movement because it really isolates my hamstring. It's real to think about like the contraction and the squeeze. And uh, picture that sort of shot on stage before I, uh, you know, hit my uh, back double bicep. Contract my glutes, contract my hamstrings. Really isolate it. So it's a nice little finisher as well. So after this round, she's gonna be fucked. <laughs> I'm already struggling to contract it, so. Two more sets, three more sets, gauge it, and then uh, cardio. <sighs> Everything, everything, come on, squeeze, 
Oh, you fuck up, bro. Come on. Everything you got. Everything you got. Come on. Wait, like, it's light, bro. It's fucking light. Let's go. Keep going. Bro. Keep going. Go, go. Don't be right. Don't be right. Here we go. Come on, Andy. Here we go. Work. 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 Come on. Okay. Work. You're pumping out. Down here. Down here. Yes. Oh. 12 weeks out, running work. That's how people need to fucking train. Now I'm thinking, how the fuck am I going to take these knees sleeves off? <laughs> Can't even move my fucking legs. <laughs> oh god, this is worse than the workout. <laughs> Ah. This is the fucking hardest part of the workout, man. I'm trying to take your fucking knee sleeves off. Wow. So, I'm going to finish off with a um, 45 minute cardio now. So remember, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, six weeks out this Sunday. So, um, just putting in the work every week now. Six more weeks to grind. And uh, stay tuned because we've got plenty more coming. Let's do this cardio. <laughs> Oh, my God.